and uh, Stockton has had quite a bit of success, currently sitting at fifth in the standings at seven and three with a plus seven game differential. So one of the better teams in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, definitely on the uptick here. They said they've enjoyed uh, the roster switch that they've made, and so far it's proving to be an effective one, but this is a team with upset potential in Platteville, and they cannot afford to be taken lightly. Cobb, I mean, he's right behind the first man, so... And... Oh, it might be, and it is, finally! And let's see if this is the new slowest goal by slow. It's now it's seven. seven. <laughs> Oh, what a disaster. That's so unfortunate. I mean, th that ball pings off a very tough read on the backboard for uh, Stockton, and, and they get caught playing too far forward, and I can understand why. They had great control over the ball for the first minute and a half, and I think they were just so locked into that rhythm that they go, wait, is anyone back? No, oh dear. And then, then they paid for it. New college was able to maintain their lead. We're seeing a bit of a, sa a similar start here for Platteville. Getting an early lead from Stockton, who hasn't been able to get much, but finally they do shut me up right away with a quick counterattacking goal. Can always trust that with Dark. That's a great clear from Bussy. And how about that redirect? Let it come over the shoulder, square it up with the outside part of the car, just right down the middle, because you should be splitting the defense. And Dark, all season long, has shown that he has remarkable spatial awareness. And it was ready for him to miss. Low up to Mars, Mars to center. Fluff ball with the shot, and it had power. Platteville take the lead. Mars, nice job to catch this pass from slow. Just throw it into the middle and hope for the best. Fluff ball's got the speed, and you're right. Power to match, 81 miles per hour from that close. Doesn't matter who's in the net. It is always going to be a tough save. And try as they might, Stockton concede a go-ahead. Clears down the center. Fluff ball will be there. Over to the side. He's going to take it. The miss from Bussy. The shot yeah. from Fluffball. And now, Platteville extend their lead after a critical error from Bussy. Oh, yeah. Just didn't quite make the right read. Thought it was either going to bounce out a little harder or it was going to hit a different spot and bounce out further. One way or the other, incorrect pathing. And Fluffball definitely made him pay and will put game one out of reach. And we'll see that last attempt get denied. And Stockton losing in game one. Platteville coming out swinging. Fluff ball with a pair of excellent goals. And this is, again, not what we expected. Would not have been able to save it had it been on target. Now the demo on the other end. Yep. Hoping that Fluff ball will add another to his tally as Platteville strike first. And here you see the difference in shooting angles. I mean, this is basically the same thing that Stockton had. The difference is, is where the shot comes from. Gino had to take a shot from basically right up against the wall. Fluffball gets to take it from the top of the box. In both instances, there's a demo to leave the net completely open. Just a much easier play for Platteville. Dark to clear it into the corner, and he is just being a nightmare for Stockton oh, to handle. Goodness. We'll turn in goal two. I feel like everywhere I look, every play, Fluffball is involved. This time, getting another one, getting up so quickly, and that perfectly timed air roll to get the right angle on the shot. Throw the ball into the corner, waste more time. They can't win with eight seconds. So Platteville going to be up 2-0. And Stockton back to the drawing board again. So... Game three underway, and it's an early press. Fluff ball again. He's going to score the first goal. Look at this demo. It's like you cut it out of a book and you copy paste it here <laughs> into game three. That Bussy, he didn't see it coming. And that is uh, going to be devastating for Stockton. They were shut out last game, and now a hot start from Platteville. We might see a sweep. Not looking good. Oh, big block though. Breakaway for Dark. And he will indeed beat him back. It's Mars on the rotation, and he's just a little slow. You see how Fluffball was trying to chip it, but Dark had him red, had the height. Fluffball, perhaps the better call would have been to flip into it, but Fluffball, he has no reason not to be confident in his plays. He has been lights out so far, but uh, you know, unfortunately for him, Dark had him red there. A low boost on empty. The pinch goes back towards net. Dark, he's racing back. 
It's oh. in devastating pink, and Stockton will concede yet another goal. Wow. Uh, you can't fault Dark. He's playing the clear into the corner. You know, Bussy's playing the ball that gets forced through into the middle. And Slow <laughs> gets wow. the very fortunate <laughs> dunk and run straight down the middle. And we've all experienced that. And if you haven't, you will. Those Not pinches that go full yeah. field. And now, <laughs> Fluff Ball adds salt to the wound. Great pass to Slow. And how about giving it back? Oh, you knew Bussy like was in trouble. Play. Yep, let it roll. When you're facing backwards and you don't have a lot of speed because you're right next to the net, it suddenly gets a lot easier to think you're getting mind game and football said fine you don't want to move <laughs> yeah we'll just, <laughs> just i'll just right steamroll this to the corner <laughs> two goal deficit minute and a half left oh. well we see another one slow wow. oh slow he did it to him there a huge 50 win and bussy oh, gonna be left stuttering lucky <laughs> it's a huge 50 win but the fortunate part is that the 50 that he won pinged off mars <laughs> and went right back into it Equal part skill and luck, and they combine for a three-goal lead. And man, if you're Stockton, you are steaming right now. That pinch, now that play, and they get one okay. back. So this is not out of reach for Stockton. Dark will get the second goal of the game, now putting them within two, a bit wow. over a minute left. They've got some time. And a little bit of fortune there as well. Mars was expecting Bussy to come up with a touch because Bussy had him beat, so Mars played it as if there was going to be a harder touch towards net ended up having to defend dark's touch and you know dark doesn't miss that often if he's given space fluff ball back to mars mars over bussy and bussy couldn't recover in time critical mistake you're right the boost spawns oh, but he jumps he forward jumped. he doesn't go towards net he jumps forward if he jumps towards net he probably makes it but one wrong mistake at exactly the wrong time. Just needed to stay grounded there. I don't know what Bussy was thinking either way. The jump is not a bad play if it goes towards net, and it just makes the jump look even worse Ooh. when he goes forward. Dark will turn in a big one, though, and keep it within two, but with 30 seconds left, you kind of left wondering if that's going to be enough time to work with. Now, I like that pass from Gino, and an excellent shot from Dark, who does pick up a hat trick, so a good game from Dark. But uh, Stockton gonna need some magic. Still down by two. All centered. Gino not there in time. Bussy towards net. Slow will kick it to the corner. And Gino will get denied another upset. Maybe not as big as the previous one, but still an upset. Platteville getting the win over Stockton.